We're figuring out our batteries. I love being able to log into the SOK battery and see what state of charge our, our batteries are at. And it's just giving me more, more things to nerd out a bit about, I guess. Um, in the manual, it says to make sure all your ca battery cables are the same length going to a bus bar so that they all charge and discharge equally. And now I can actually look in at each battery and realize, okay, well this battery over here is definitely not being charged as much. So the battery with the longest battery cables that go and connect to my other bank over here, uh, there it's barely pulling any juice out of that. So these ones are cycling a lot and this one isn't cycling at all. Ignore this one, it's just our starter, starter battery. We'll sort that one out later. The power wants to come out of the, the easiest spot that it can pull power from, which is these ones. So it's pulling from these big, nice, beefy wires and going straight to our DC panel. Problem with that is that we are not cycling that one battery that's furthest away at all. And it's it's just kind of fluctuating between 95 and close, closer to 100%. And these batteries are cycling down to 80% or so. So what's gonna happen is when we want to charge these batteries fully up, this one's gonna say, hey, you're charged. So it's gonna cut off the charger and basically make it so these don't fully get charged over a period of time. So the goal here is to put a couple bus bars right here beside the starter battery. I'm gonna have to insulate them somehow and separate them uh, so that the positive and negative are far enough away. And then I'm going to basically make jumpers, regardless of the length, pick the jumper that's the furthest point and make sure that they're all roughly that, that length. Um, just a little bit of less copper will make a big difference. Unfortunately, that's gonna mean I can't use these nice big two, two gauge wires that Ben gave me, but Ben gave me lots of other wires, so I'll be able to make it work with what I have. So by the way, yeah, I'm, I'm saying Ben, I'm talking about Ben from Sailboat Story, so he was really kind and gave us a bunch of wiring, so thank you so much, Ben. Um, it's making this, this job a lot easier. But anyway, I've come to the conclusion, it's not gonna be the end of the world to just leave this project for a little bit later, realize that that battery isn't cycling as much, and we'll just do it at a later date. The only reason I'm saying that is because I have so many other things I gotta work on right now. But I wanted to make sure to plan ahead, to think through the project so that I knew I was going to have the proper length of wires going to these two bus bars that will eventually get installed. Oh, Mom and Coral, what are you guys making? Today, we're making chocolate chip cookies because it is really cold outside, so warming up the boat. Poor Kai. Kai's upset that we're all working. Daddy's working the batteries. Kai's supposed to be helping, but he's just getting upset. Oh, bud, don't fall in the battery compartment. You're getting a little too active. No, that's a good thing. You're doing awesome. Look at you go, man. You're doing awesome. Here. Oh. Oh, look at you go. Look at you go. Oh, wow. Coral, you're helping mom? Yeah. I'm not sure about this recipe, too many chip -its. <laughs> Okay, is that, is that wire in the right spot, Kai? Is that gonna work? What do you think? Don't try to eat it. No, no. Let go, let go. Are you being bad? No. Miss ya? No. Are you sure? No. I'm nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> You're not hurting your brother? Yes. Yes, you are hurting your brother? No. No? Well, I decided I want to put my fuse right down here, but it's kind of difficult with this through hole right here. So, I'm very grateful for this little 90 degree drill attachment. I think this is where we're gonna mount this thing. I'm just trying to get the last pole. But basically, it's kind of a cool little gizmo. I'll bring it down there in a second as soon as I can get the, oh, the pencil won't go in. It's kind of cool. It, it charges our starter battery with the alternator, which is normal. Normally, you would already be doing that. But it also charges it through a solar input. So we can charge uh, solar or alternator. 
And then once the starter battery is charged, it goes over to our house bank, which is our lithium bank. So it allows us to charge our lithium bank with the alternator, but also keep our starter battery topped up. have light just need to hook up the NPT T positive here and the negative of the the solar to the negative input and we should be good what are you doing? what am I doing? I am using a wrench because I can't get anything else behind this piece of wood to reach this switch and a screwdriver and it has to be a flathead because the screws are flat, which is the most annoying screws ever, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm frustrated with this, and then I've been trying to film so many different projects, and I've just given up on filming. I, because she just screams and yells, and won't, she's going through her terrible twos, and is not having, without cutting this whole thing out, or dismantling it, I'm not gonna be able to get this out.